Hi, Daniel Monforti here from Regal Technologies, and today we will be discussing the different tests we performed while building our robot. Throughout the entire build process of this robot, we both evaluated and then built our robot, testing all different components from the sensors to the batteries and the antennas, and selecting either the best parts that would work for us or understanding how they would work with the robot itself. These sort of tests allow us to have a completely functional robot at the end, and similar tests are useful for t bringing a robot or an IoT device to market. To begin with, we started with testing our robot's serial communication between its Wi-Fi board and the controller board. To perform this test, we used an oscilloscope with serial decode capabilities and two analog passive probes. Next, we determined which set of antennas would give us the largest range. While testing the antennas, we used a VisWar bridge with a spectrum analyzer to test the VisWar measurements of each antenna before performing a real-world test to confirm our results. Next, we installed the robot's camera while gaining an understanding of how the different motors in the camera arm operate. To test these motors, we used an oscilloscope to monitor the pulse width and a waveform generator to create the pulses to control the motors and a power supply to power the motors. Next, we tested the robot sensors, starting with the ultrasonic sensor, which is meant to prevent the robot from crashing into different objects. To test the sensor, we used an oscilloscope, and then to power the sensor, we used a power supply, and to feed a test signal into the sensor to recreate an initial startup, we used a waveform generator to send a periodic pulse. Our next sensor, we tested the robot's infrared sensors, which allow the robot to follow a line that is on the ground. While testing these sensors, we needed to determine how far away from the ground these sensors can be mounted to maximize our ground clearance. To test them, we used an oscilloscope to monitor the sensor's response, and then to power them, we used a power supply. Next, we performed extensive tests on the robot's battery to gain a better understanding on how the robot consumes power and roughly how long the robot will be able to function between charges. We did this in a nominal power test, along with an operational power test and a boot-up energy test. To test the robot's battery, we used an oscilloscope with a current probe to capture the current draw over time, and then an electronic load to recreate a similar draw over time for a more controlled testing environment. Lastly, we tested the robot's overall radiated emissions. By performing this test, we were able to make some improvements to the control board so that there are less radiated emissions being produced by the robot. To perform this test, we used a spectrum analyzer with an EMI testing option and near-field probes to detect areas of interest. By performing all of these tests, we are able to build, debug, and analyze our remote control robot, improve its functionality, and make it easier to install the different components.